Okay, uh, got some more sweets again we're doing today. Also, we got a um, uh, bunch of uh, copper we got to cut out. Uh, I'm buying and purchasing copper off a guy. Hopefully, it's still there. I'm going there and, and maybe after work. And then if it's there, I'll, I'll video it. Anyway, I just want to show you here. The so infested with cockroaches here. This building. Look at them all. There's hundreds of them. But not just that, I'll show you over here. Look on the ground here, look how so many, they're just littered everywhere. Cockroach city. Look at that, just all everywhere. I don't know why they're all dead, but... But there's so many. It's infested here, look at the fridge here. This is disgusting. You know, the suite looks okay, but... It's cockroaches everywhere, you're lucky finding them. Okay, so I got all the metal there when I come back. I just uh, straighten my load out here on top. And then I'm going to go to scrapyard. Uh, first garbage and scrapyard, then I'm going to pick up that copper in Richmond. Okay, I'll show you more as we uh, day progresses. Yeah, we're back at uh, near the scrapyard again. We're on uh, Mitchell Island. I want to show you scenery here. Last time was, uh, I think it was raining when I showed it last time. It's all sorts of uh, different uh, factories here. Scrap metal places, concrete, dirt, dirt disposal, lumber yards. Fairway is a big uh, outfit here. They, they take dirt, everything there. You can dump a lot of crap there, concrete, anything. Do the concrete recycling there and they grind and grind up material too. There's a bunch of wood chips here. You can get wood chips if you want. Lots of auto rec wreckers, little sawmills. There's a little faux cafe here. Faux there on Mitch Island, it says. Here's Allied Salvage right there. They got a Pretty high load of uh, iron right there, heavy metal. And there's there's a the coast import wrecking, yeah, wrecking imports. There's a lot of stuff all around here actually. Uh, I'm just doing a tour of one area that I'm going to. Here's another place that takes garbage. You can see the scrap yards are busting full. I think uh, the the tin's gonna go really high because people are really sitting on a lot of it not reselling it so I'm thinking the prices are gonna go really high okay, here's my scrap yard right here or garbage dump here where I go to Eagle disposal we'll see my way way is 7,040 kg. service here they even open the bin for you which is what I really like good place to come here eagle disposal see that dump site on the corner there they actually tried to rip me off there I had uh, like see a wood rate is a little cheaper but I had some wood that had some uh, you know metal bolts and you know big big bolts not just little bolts they were huge uh, iron bolts and they would said, uh, no that's just garbage so he said, okay, you dump in this area. Well, he wanted me to dump in the clean wood and charge me garbage price. So I said, forget that, I'll go somewhere else. So I ended up going to Eagle Disposal. They took it as clean wood. They took it to crunch up anyways. Even there, though there were big lag bolts. So like, um, they had big bracket lag bolts. You couldn't take them out anyways. You had, they were like welded in there. So the machine would just crunch them up, separate it as you're crunching it. So if he would have said, okay, dump this lumber in the garbage area, I would accept it. But he wanted me to dump in the area where it's recycled wood. 
so they would rip me off for another uh, 40 40 50 dollars a ton so I, I went across the street say I saved myself about a hundred dollars that load so ever since that I don't go there no more waste of time and they're unorganized here they're so gonna organize the open the door for you uh, they get you in and out real quick they don't waste your time that's my feeling just want to let you know that that corner one sucks that's why I don't go there part of uh, Fraser River here I just want to show you if you can see on the hillside all the homes all the old homes are gone they're all newer homes now and then here is uh, Fraser River on that side of the bridge this is uh, really one of those dangerous roads here uh, they have to put a lot of st stoplights here a lot of people got killed here are big accidents it's one of those uh, congested roads there's traffic all day long trucks cars so you know if you're ever on night street towards night street bridge it's you know just got to keep your eye out it is a dangerous road uh, police called it years ago the fatal funnel people died on this area everybody funnels into this area here anyways if i see any interesting stuff along my way i'll show more Okay, that's some of the metal we're taking today. All this here, uh, five and five. We're taking ten appliances. I already took all the switches out, everything, wire. So all the stoves, all the switches gone. Never took that one out, but anyways, um, got the majority out. There, simple. Look at that. One kick. One kick. That's all it takes. Okay, that's it. Load it up and we're going to Richmond. Okay, we're here. Our mission is to get the copper here. I purchased the copper off the owner for 250, all the copper, but there's so much copper in this crawl space, it's unbelievable. There's pipes in all directions, everywhere. Never seen so much copper. So I'm hoping, hoping to you know, double my money and pay my neighbor, so. But you can see it's in multiple angles everywhere. Yeah. It's all copper. There's radiators everywhere. So this is my load here. The apartment building. I could have had more appliances, but I just wanted to make it so that I have room for the copper. I'm take this crap off here and I'm going to cut the copper down in sizable pieces. Fit to fit in the garbage cans. But the radiators we're going to cut off first. Then there's, uh, there's two inch in there. There's one inch. And there's even a four inch pipe, there's all kind of pipes everywhere, but we can't disturb the drywall, but everything, whatever's in a crawl space. Okay, perfect. Keep, stay tuned. Okay, we got uh, some runs out right now, look how long they are. Go from here, way to my truck. These are the rads. rads. A lot of solder in these joints, so it's pretty dirty. They're not going to be 100% clean, but I'll get some clean stuff out of here. for over two hours I would say two hours for sure uh, mostly brass but there's a little bit of dirty brass in there we're gonna have to clean that up this is all copper with uh, with solder on a joint that's clean copper all this is clean copper and this bucket's so heavy uh, two guys I, I was trying barely can get up two guys barely we were struggling it was that heavy it's got to be like over 100 pounds, or at least 100 pounds minimum. I mean, two guys can do 100 pounds like nothing, so I, I think maybe 150 pounds, possibly. I mean, that stuff is super heavy, and even some of the bigger pipes, as you can see, we filled it in. We put inside here, put other pipes inside just to make it so heavy. But it's really heavy, heavy wall. It's, you know, it's sprinkler stuff, or uh, hot water heat, you know, so it's heavy wall, not, not light wall. Okay, uh, we're still cutting, still more pipe out there, so we'll see. Definitely gonna be a big, big load. So we'll see how it goes. I'm thinking probably about 250 pounds of copper, probably, I would think. <laughs> or maybe 200 pounds of that, and then 50 pounds of mixed stuff. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Okay, mixed brass, 30 brass, right there. Full buckets. Oh, 30, 35 pounds copper here with uh, joints that have okay. solder that's you clean copper no solder all this here 
this bucket's full, clean, all those fins. I'd say it's a good good load. Uh, I'm hoping at least 600, just because it cost me 250, and then labor. So it's been at least three hours here working here. So, anyways, uh, time to pack up. We're gonna just uh, leave now. We've got everything in the crawl space. I uh, just can't get nothing in the walls here because uh, we know the building probably contains asbestos, so we have to leave it for the Bateman crew. But everything in the crawl space is fair game, so we're okay. Okay, sounds good. We'll continue. This is it. Don't forget to uh, please subscribe, share, and make a comment. Thanks for watching. Canadian Treasure Hunter out. Have a great day.